Uh, thank you, Mr. Chairman. Uh, thanks for uh, scheduling this markup. Uh, the Coast Guard Authorization Act of 2017 is a great example of uh, setting aside any potential uh, partisan differences and agreeing on uh, an authorization that uh, is critical for uh, this uh, vital agency. It will give them two years of assured funding. Uh, it does contain a 3 percent uh, increase uh, over the fiscal year 2017. Uh, I would say that, in fact, uh, the Coast Guard has been uh, chronically underfunded. Uh, Three percent helps, uh, but it still won't uh, help them to meet uh, all of their uh, critical needs that are unfunded or underfunded. Uh, I'm also uh, uh, pleased that this legislation uh, continues to advance policy initiatives that uh, are of great interest to my constituents and others around the country, uh, mean, uh, which would be search and rescue. Uh, and in particular, the uh, air facilities uh, keeping those operational. I am, uh, we, we also have included language to further clarify the fact that Congress wants the documentation process fixed. We want it done. It hasn't been done. It's pretty simple. The Coast Guard is apparently cons can't, is dithering around. Like, well, how are we going to do multiple years? And we might lose money, and oh, then we might lose some of these jobs that Robert Byrd put in falling water, West Virginia, and so what if we're a year behind in documentation? We don't want to fix that. No, we're going to fix it, uh, and we're going to go to five-year documents, and you just charge the same amount, but times five. So you don't lose revenues, uh, and it's done. And I believe with this fix, you won't have to go through some more dithering and rulemaking and anything else and get it done. This is a major problem for people. The backlog uh, in terms of people being, you know, purchasing, selling boats. Uh, there's a huge problem for people who are cruising outside the ter territorial waters of the U.S. who can't enter ports if they're within six months of expiration and within an annual uh, documentation that uh, is, and they're a year behind in issuing documents, that doesn't work out so well for a lot of people. Uh, and they end up paying a huge fee to a private person who can go to the front of the line in Falling Waters, West Virginia, and get it done. That's not right. We fix this for the public. So uh, I'm pleased that uh, we've adopted language in here that should totally clarify uh, this issue to the Coast Guard and get it done. I also want to uh, congratulate uh, my ranking member, John Garamundi, who's dealing with a, a critical national security uh, issue, which is a reliable backup uh, for GPS. Uh, we know that the space-based GPS system is uh, potentially vulnerable, and uh, utilizing uh, these Coast Guard assets uh, for a potential backup system, a land-based system, uh, is uh, very critical. So uh, thank you, Mr. Chairman. Uh, I'm pleased that we've come to a bipartisan agreement and look forward to uh, and recommend this bill to all my colleagues. Uh, I thank